Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who has deep-seated corns on both feet for many years. As we age, we lose padding on the bottom of our feet due to decreased circulation. Let's see how I can debride his deep-seated corns. So we have Dana here today. Hi, Dana. Hi. How are we doing? So, Great. Okay, so Dana's been coming to me for a while, right? Yes, years now. Yeah, so he's got this very deep-seated corns here, as you can see. These are very painful. And then there's some calcis and corns here, and there's some here. And the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna get on these things. So these are these are called corns, and they're a little bit different from calluses. I know we had other videos talking about these. Um, corns are plugged up sweat glands uh, from building up calluses. As you can see, it's a round, round thing inside there. That's the corn and extremely painful. Right, Dana? Yes, it is. Yeah, so Dana comes to see me quite often and- Yes, the doctor helps me. Yeah, I'm trying, but these are not easy. They don't go away that easy, so we have to keep working on it. So I kind of dig it out a little. And then we, we burnt it before too, right? Yes, we have. We've and tried a few things. And then and then they come back afterward, right? Yes. When you burn it, it's it's good, but it's, it's hard for a little while, right? Yes, it hurts initially, uh -huh. but it does get better. Yeah. So we haven't done any burning lately, because you have to work, right? Correct. Yeah, so so burning sometimes gets rid of it, sometimes it doesn't go away. It depends on how prominent the bone is underneath it. If you have a really prominent bone with not, not a whole lot of padding, then the, then the um, corn can come back. So that's kind of the problem. As you can see, I got some of that core out of there. So that's what I do. And then you, you're good for what? A couple of weeks, right? After I... Two weeks, yes. Two weeks. And then you started... I'll be back again. Yeah, you start thinking about me again, right? Oh, yes. I never <laughs> stop thinking. <laughs> Dana's always thinking about me. Yes. Yeah. Ho help. Hopefully good thoughts. Yes, you help oh. me get through my day. Yeah, so hopefully you're thinking, oh, well, he's going to help me. Yes. Yeah, but unfortunately... Uh, it just doesn't go away permanently, so you just have to keep working on it. As you can see, it, there's a core in there, so uh, if I go any deeper than this, it would bleed, so well, I very carefully tease out as much as I can, as you can see here. So, but then it's pretty active, right? You You have... Yes. He's I got his daughters very active. He's coaching, right? You're coaching, coaching uh, volleyball. We volleyball. have soccer and Yeah, he's a busy guy. He can't he can't let this down. He can let uh, things these things keep him down, right? So no, we gotta no, keep moving. Not even slow me down. Yeah, so you got volleyball, you got soccer, right? You got soccer, your kids yes. are doing soccer too. Yes they are. So you got she's got he's got very active two kids that constantly on the go, right? Yes, we have volleyball practice tonight. Oh, volleyball practice, huh? Yes. Yeah, and then the game's on the weekend? or The game is tomorrow night, and oh. then we have soccer on Saturday morning. Oh, wow. Yes. That's a whole week right there. Oh, yes. Yeah, for these. The only day off is Sunday. Oh, that's it, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's why he keep building up these corns and calluses, so he has to come see me, because he just won't. Stay down. Okay. You gotta start. You gotta stay active. So, kids love it, huh? Kids, kids yes. love their sports. Yeah, they're in good shape. Yeah, they're in good shape. They're, yeah. So as you can see, I kind of got it dug out a little bit there. So I'm gonna move over here. We're gonna do some cleaning up and see. This is probably the longest one I've had. Oh, this one. Yeah, but the, the other one's more painful than these, right? Yes, the yeah. other one's more painful. Yeah, because so you've had this for a while here. Yes. 
I don't think you have a corn in here. It's just like a callus here, basically. It's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word deep corn in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, you, you like your new orthotics? We, 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 we got yes. your really soft one, right? Yes, like a really yes. foamy one, you like that? Yes, I got the new and improved. Yeah, new and improved, right? Yeah, yes. so we got a really nice foam one and that gives a lot of cushion and then taking pressure off certain areas, so that's helpful. So, I used a material called the Plasazote, which is like a foam material. So that's helped a lot, so that's good, right? Yeah. You do any sports yourself or you're just coaching? Well, I participate with my girls in every sport. I practice with them. Oh, that's right. You have to I'm practice. not on any teams anymore. Not anymore, huh? No. Yeah. He's got a little corn right here, as you can see. These corns can be burnt, uh, but sometimes they can come back. So sometimes we just have to keep the writing and kind of help it that way uh, a lot of people come with a deep-seated corn then I burn it and usually go away and they don't come back but sometimes uh, like Dennis cases keeps coming back then we just instead of keep burning it we just kind of clean it out uh, periodically so that he he can continue doing what he's doing you can see there's another corn right there so Sometimes we can shave the bone and get rid of this problem as well, but that's that requires time off and it's it's painful and the whole process is not pleasant. No, it's not. No, so sometimes that's not that's not a good thing. As you can see here, there's another corn right here. You can see the round circle inside there. So that's another one. We're trying to dig in a little bit and. As much as I can, I take him out. Yeah. Move on to this side. Use them here, pretty similar situation. The calluses. I don't think you have a corn here. This one's not that painful, right? Then? No. Yeah. This one's just callus. Uh, we we debride the callus because we don't want any the cows that potentially turn into a corn. So we're trying to just make sure that this area gets cleaned out. He's got a little tiny corn right there, but it's not as big as the other one. So we have to keep these down because they can, they can create a plugged up sweat gland, which causes the corn. So we try to keep these cows down as much as we can prevent any problems and he's been busy fixing your homes lately right so yeah he's almost done and that's a lot of standing and directing and making sure they're working right oh uh, we have to keep them on their toes i know literally so yes. he's been busy with that too so that's why he builds his counts really quickly here so that's the problem so but you just told me it's almost done right Yes, yes. Yeah. Two weeks, maybe three. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a good thing. So now yes, you're... Yes, it is. You can, you're going to enjoy your kitchen again. Yes. So you've been eating out or what? Well, we've been eating a lot of TV dinners. Oh, really? <laughs> eating out, yes. All we have is a microwave right now. Oh, so. wow. Yeah, I've been there before, and that's yeah. pretty devastating. Yes, it's quite a change. Yeah. Our hard. eating habits have taken a hit. I know, that's not good. Losing a kitchen is devastating, yeah. Yes. Uh, I've been through that a few times. Our kitchen is now in our living room. So. Yeah, so the, you're moving in in a couple of weeks? Yes, we are weeks, just a couple of weeks away from uh, completion. Yeah, that's a, I've got people in there as we speak right now. Right? Yeah, you gotta go make sure they're working again. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> this one is a uh, pretty thick, as you can, pretty deep. 
Yeah, those outside ones are the more prominent. Yeah, ones. more so prominent, yeah. The outsides there are more. Really deep into this one. This one's pretty big, actually. Deep and big, so. And then you work it standing a lot too, right? Yeah, I'm on my feet all day at work. Yeah, so yes. that's another issue. And so we work outside, so yeah. there's no sitting. There's no sitting around for him. No. Weekdays and weeknights. Yes, and weekends. weekends. Yeah, weekends too, so. There's one right here. Another corn, as you can see. You can see the round thing there. So we can decide as well. So it's, it's good for a few weeks, so we'll see him again. And then we'll see you as a new man next time with a kitchen. Yes, and, uh, a happier man. A much happier, well-nourished man now. Yes. Finally have some nice meal. And I uh, know, it, it, it's rough. It's rough without the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thanks for allowing us to film you today, Dana. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Deep-seated corns are extremely painful. Most of the corns can be burned and then the pain goes away after without surgery. However, when you don't have enough padding at the bottom of the feet, the prominent bones must be surgically shaved to improve the conditions. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.